A very good morning. I'm now joined by Mr. Chema Nebot, who is the Head of Business Development at Idrika. Chema, welcome to the program. Hi, yeah. welcome, Daniel. Thank you. The, the, the first question I have is, uh, since last year, since your launch, uh, you have already fast, uh, fast becoming quite a reference point as an organization as far as uh, technology and innovation is concerned. How's been the tra trajectory for you? Well, I think that it has been a, a really frantic period of time you know, since the, the launchment of, of Idrika. And, and well, to be, to be honest, we are not just a company that has become international, let's say, but uh, this is the, the legacy also from Aguas de Valencia because they have already been outside of Spain and, and, and with projects uh, in, in Africa or, or the Middle East. So it has been difficult just to try to follow the steps from, from Aguas de Valencia and try to uh, understand the, the, the existing projects and in parallel we needed to open new headquarters so we have opened headquarters last year in in Mexico Saudi Arabia uh, also Peru and and I think United States as well uh, so uh, we have been needed to both keep progressing and, and con continuating the projects from Aguas de Valencia in in the Middle East in Qatar Angola, eh, and Colombia, and, and Venezuela, and of course Spain, but also to open new headquarters. So it, it has been really, really a stressing period of time, eh, trying to understand new markets and, and trying to find the, the best way to penetrate these new areas. So, well, I think it has been really, very stressing, but very, very grateful as well. Oh, I, uh, I suppose frantic, but exciting at the same time. Yeah, um, how, how do you see uh, the organization and the innovation uh, that you have uh, being a catalyst in the, in the water sector. And on top of that, uh, how would you see water utilities around the world benefiting uh, from your organization? Well, I think that this is innovation and technologies are, are quite important for the evolution of the industry uh, because traditionally, and, and we mentioned that in, in, our, in our webinar, uh, I think it was two, two weeks ago, but uh, we mentioned that these companies are very traditional and they are engineering centric uh, companies. So it's like everything goes from, uh, from hydraulic analysis and, and field operation and field activities. But we need to start combining this traditional way of thinking, but to introduce uh, innovation. And those companies, they used to uh, take care of the OPEX and the CAPEX of the companies and using technology as a driver for efficiencies in, in, in those terms, in, in saving money in, in OPEX and CAPEX, are, are, this is the, the, the crucial point and, and, the, and the, let's say, the, the change of paradigm, this shift of paradigm, let's say, and, and, and technology is, is trying to evolve the traditional way of thinking from, from water utilities. And if you don't use technology to get some return of investment, then there is no, no interesting for, for the water utility. So it's a huge effort from our side to try to explain how technology and innovation could help companies to really save money and to be more efficient. So, and this is the, 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 hard, the, the hard work here. It's not just go there and talk about technologies, look how, how fancy is this technology, and, and then you can see data, or, uh, but also to say, okay, you can see data, you can implement algorithms, and you are going to save money, or you are going to be more efficient. So that, that's- it's, that. it's interesting, sorry to, come, to cut you there, uh, uh, Chema. It's interesting, because that was the follow-up question I had, that, well, you know, people say change is the only constant thing that we have, and mm -hmm. we have to, uh, uh, to ad adopt and adapt. But um, how, how is it cost effective? I suppose that's the point you're making, right? That yeah. coming from the traditional way and using technology and innovation, you're not only going to be very adaptable and quick in, your, in managing water and its analysis, but also you're going to save money. Maybe in a nutshell, without going into the nuts and bolts, how do they save money, these utilities and governments? Yeah, and, and totally, I think that this is the, one of the most hot topics right now to, to, to take the most and, and to, to understand the value of technology. And well, definitely you, you need to work hard on this. You need to 
uh, you need to position technology not on not only as a let's say um, to position your company as a modern company and an innovative company because you, water utilities sometimes they have some innovation department not, not only water companies but also the huge the, the, the whole industry they have innovation departments mm -hmm. and this is because they needed to have this within their organizations and, and they they understand that this is the, the right path to for for the for the next generations and or the next uh, way to do things but you need to really adopt the technology and to implement into real uh, projects and then to measure the the, the impact and, and the return of investment of, of of this technology so what i'm trying to say is not just to to try to look for technologies and say okay i'm, I'm trying to uh, diversify in my company and to 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 more to be more proactive to technology you need also to really implement the technology and in order to do so you need to involve the operational guys so it's like you need to combine the operational guys and the innovation units and say okay what's your real need and if i provide to you some technologies and some algorithms you are willing to use them and you need to this dialogue to to happen to uh, to cross the point of view of the operational and the innovation and they try to look this for real, like a real use case. So I think that this is something that is not happening right now. It's like innovation goes through one bucket or one direction and operational guys goes from another one. And, and you need to both paths to, both paths to, to cross and, and to, then to, work, to, to, to work together. Yeah. So I'm, a, I'm an operations guy in country X here in the continent. And uh, why should I take your technology? What, what good will it do for me? Yeah, well, I think that, that the, the, the real advantage of, of Idrica here is that we have already done this before. So we are not just trying to, to follow this blooming about technology. So we have been working on this for the last 15 years. So it, it's a, it's a, a well-known background from, from our company. And typically, when we try to finally convince a, a customer, we used to invite them to visit our, our customers and one of our premises. And when they see that this is for real and they can see a digital twin operating an entire network and how the technology is supporting them to make decisions and how we have finally came across with the idea to integrate all the data, then they say, okay, that, that's real. So I have seen a lot of PowerPoint companies, but now visiting your customers, I think that I think that this is the most the most convin convincing or, or compelling point of view from from Idrica that this is for real and and you can go and, and touch the let's say that touch the technology although this is, is wireless technology but you can touch this and and I think that this is the the, the most compelling point from from Idrica. just come come to us visit our customers and see like this is this is working and uh, well. I don't know if I'm asking your question, Daniel, but that, that's what I'm trying to uh, to say here. Yeah, I, I see. The, the, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. You come yeah. and touch and feel. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but but for those who are watching us, uh, uh, the chairman, if I get your technology, do I clean water? Do I build better? Do I manage my water better? What am I doing? I think that what you are taking the most from our technology is that you are having a holistic understanding of your operation and then you can make the right decision. So it's like now you used to make decisions just uh, analyzing one part of the process and here you are combining all the technologies and all the IoT and all the sensors in just one single point and supports you to make the decision and to say, okay, this is the, 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 the real understanding of the situation. Otherwise, you are like a blind company. You don't know, uh, you don't know about all the processes. You, you are not able to create cross use cases. So using Idrica and, and Go Iowa technologies, you are in the position to understand the entire organization. And this is not happening right now. It's like you have one, one business unit for, for the customer, one business unit for the billing, another for the leak control. Uh, the innovation guys are thinking in digital twins or, or uh, smart metering or, or water quality. And what we provide to the market is this holistic view and, and, and we support the leaders, the, 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 
the executive officers or, or the boarding from, from water companies to say, okay, this is the technology that I need to think in the future of my company and to make the right decision. So it's not only to solve one specific problem, it's just to use the right technologies and the, and the, and the right solutions to think uh, into the future. And, and this is not happening right now. It's like you are trying to solve one specific problem. So I have this problem, I want one technology to solve it right now because it's, it's really important. But you are using GoIwa to say, okay, I need to integrate all the views from my company in order to write, to make the right decisions in the future. I, I think that this is the most, the most valuable. I think it's a, it's a very uh, holistic approach. Yeah. Now I sit, um, <clears throat> I sit in Africa and uh, just looking at the map, I see you are in, um, in, in Angola and our the little I understand, not an water expert, but the little I see and understand is it's been very traditional, traditional ways of doing things on this continent. And, I, and, and also the little I understand about your uh, innovation and technology is that I think it's needed on the continent. Good for Africa, this technology, would you say? Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, when you have technologies to see what, what is happening, this is, this is the best way to learn. So it's like, I'm an engineer, so this is my, my background, and I used to have theoretical sessions. And, and then when you go through the lab and to the practice uh, uh, subjects and, and, and the real use cases solving problems, this is when you see, okay, this is the, the theoretical point of view, but now I'm applying the, 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 the theoretical, all, all the things that I have learned in the, in the, um, with, with the experts, okay? And I think that technology is the, is the way to make this real. So it's like, okay, the water is flowing in this direction, or if I do this change, this is how the network behaves. So technology is also supporting companies to understand and to learn and to uh, train the next professionals. So I think it's, it's really important on, 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 on this sense, okay? Just technology is, is helping us to understand better the problem and to, and to see how, how it looks like. And, and also, it's, it's really important to change the way of thinking. It's like you are, you are using technology to modify or to adapt the mindset from, from your employees, from, from the organization. So you are going to have uh, professionals with a better understanding of, of, the, of the technologies. They can use this vision to say, okay, this technology is great, but why, why don't we just evolve this technology into something different? So uh, it's, it's really important to... Uh, to improve the assets and the skills of, of, of the professionals. So I think that Africa really needs this, but I think it's, it's a global problem just to digitalize and to, uh, to change the way that we are managing the water. And, and what I think that this really fits to, to, to the Africa continent and, and the different regions in Africa. And, and Daniel, I would like just to add something here, right? but what, what, what I think it's really valuable from, from the Africa continent and, and its citizens is, is the commitment from, from the professionals. I think that this is completely different in other regions of the world. I think that the commitment with the employees from, from African organizations and companies, it's a, a, a real commitment with their, with their society and communities. It's not a, a commitment uh, for their, for, from them as a professional to, to grow. So, in other regions, you do know these professionals that they want to buy technology and to be the, the, the most uh, smart guy in the company. I, I'm the best. But, but in Africa, you have this feeling that these guys are, are working for the community. So I'm doing this not for me. I'm doing this for, for, yes. my, for my company and for my community. And I think that this is the, the, the most important uh, driver and, and asset that, that the African market has. And... And I think that this is really, really important to, to take into account. And if these guys, they, they feel like technology and it's helping their communities to, to manage properly the, the, the water resource, which is really, really valuable in the future, I think that it, it's, it's really, really amazing to, to think about. Oh, that, 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 that's good to hear. Africans are generally communal people. I suppose maybe that's where it, come, where it comes from. Um, I see you are in Angola. A, a particular reason why, why Angola, and I'm not, I'm not begrudging Angola, but I'm trying to understand whether that made sense to be in Angola. Is it the language? They speak Portuguese there. Africa has many languages, or that was a, a country that quickly accepted the technology. 
Well, I think it's, it's a, a combination of, of different factors here, but I think one of the most important ones is that we are working with the World Bank, okay? So we have the support of a multilateral fund here, and we had a good relationship with them. So to be honest, when, when the World Bank evaluate our technical proposal, our technical uh, evaluation is quite positive and, and, and we, we feel very comfortable uh, working with the World Bank because they, they know us um, for, for previous projects. And I think this is one of the, of the main factors to, to, to be in Angola. And, and also because it's a, it's a country uh, who is, which is involving a lot. They are really uh, close to technologies, at least in, in, other, in other sectors like the, the industry. So I think that this is the, the, the main reasons why we started working in Angola. It was a, a combination of, 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 of different factors here. Okay. But we have been working with them since 2012, and it's eight years ago. And this year, we have been awarded with, the, with three new projects in Angola. So the, the, the relationship is quite fluid, and, and we won, and we, won and, and we are working so hard to, to be present in, in more regions, especially in South Africa. And, and also in, in Morocco and, and all the north of, of, of the continent. But there are huge opportunities in, in, in all the countries, to be honest. Indeed, that's what, that's what I thought, uh, Chema. And uh, so, um, again, just to understand, you can work with uh, uh, international uh, financial institutions to mm -hmm. bring together a project, or you can get and work directly with a government or I'm hearing you are saying in Angola, you've been awarded another. So it's not at a national government. You can work at a council uh, level or provincial mm -hmm. level and national government. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. So basically the, the, the point is who is finding this uh, modernization of the company. So definitely you need to, to get support by national projects or initiatives or governments. And I think that there are huge governments, movements and initiatives in all the countries in, in Africa. And, and well, we want to present ourselves like a, like a driver or a complement from the existing water projects or initiatives in, in, in each country. So we can just try to um, address local municipalities or, or governments or multilateral banks or, or, or funding. So, we present ourselves like a complement. So you want to Absolutely. modernize the, the water management? Okay, we can be here and, and, and provide you with some technologies. Or you want to, you want to ask to, to bring some technical assistance on some services based in our experience, so we can do so. So we are completely open to, uh, to working at, at different levels. No, Chema, we have to leave it there. That's uh, Chema Nebot, who is the head of business development Eti Drika, and he is an engineer by training, but a water technology expert. Uh, thank you very much for thank you very much, my guest uh, on this Idrika Water Security uh, follow-up on the Idrika Water uh, Idrika Water Security Africa Day. Thank you indeed. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs>